To create a design on PE plus 2, you must first insert the USB dongle into the computer. It only works on Windows computers, so you can use the one we provide. Open the software. You'll be greeted by a software wizard, which holds the manual for the program. You can choose to read this or skip it. In the top menu bar, you have three tabs, Home, Image, and View. In Home, you can create text, make shapes, zoom in and out on your design, import images, vectors, and patterns, group and merge your designs, and send your design to the machine. This is your main working page for designing. In the Image tab, you can import any image and convert it into an embroidery file. You can use the Auto Punch, Cross Stitch, Photo Stitch 1 or Photo Stitch 2 to convert your file automatically. When using these functions, you are offered a choice of a shaped frame around the image or to keep the image square. Auto Punch reduces the colours down to a pop art style design. Cross Stitch converts it to a traditional cross stitch. Photo Stitch 2 uses four color separation like screen printing to produce a layered image also with a background. In view, you can choose to see the design as solid flat color in stitch view or as realistic view. Here's a file I made earlier with images of oranges that have been processed into embroidery files using the program's image conversion tools. Here we have Photo Stitch 2, Photo Stitch 1, Cross Stitch and Auto Punch. I've edited the colours down so all four of these styles use the same six colours. I'll now also show you how to make an image using shapes and demonstrate how to define the colour and stitch style for each layer, which is applicable across all methods of image creation in this program. On the Home tab, select Shapes. Choose the circle, click and drag whilst holding down shift to make the circle the size you wish. A new shapes tab will open that shows the current stitch and color assigned to the fill and outline of the shape. Either use the menu bar at the top or right click on the shape to change the stitch color. Within the options for fill stitches, each type, satin, fill, programmable fill, motif and stippling can be altered in scale, direction and density. This shows in the sewing attribute box at the side of the screen. To alter the density, direction or style of stitch, use the arrows in the toolbox to explore what seems right. You can layer multiple shapes on top of each other to produce backgrounds and texture. Group the objects together so the program knows it is one design. Finally, I'll show you how to import a vector from file. You did a .svg, .emf, or .wmf vector file to import. All of these are available from Illustrator or other conversion programs. On the Home tab, press Import Patterns, then From Vector Image. Select the vector file you made earlier, and it should appear as a black image. Once placed in the document, you can see that each shape and outline shows as a separate layer. Alter these individually to suit your wishes using the Sewing Attributes toolbox. Mix stitches to give different effects and explore. When you're ready, send the file to the machine via Send.